Okay, I'm trying to figure out the best way to uh, take the battery apart. So I've got the cover off, but uh, how do you take it apart? Where do you start? And I'm looking at it, at where all these cables are running, and it looks like probably the best place to start is um, right off from the service plug, because the service plug, um, you know, you're physically disconnecting the battery when you do that. So, since it's disconnected from there anyways, that means there's zero potential between right there and over near here. Um, I am pointing. Yes, my fingers are nice and far away. I don't have a, a laser pointer or a better way of pointing. But uh, just for example, we do have, like right here, um, basically that is the same potential as that, which is nothing, because there's no other cells over there. Um, so if I take that nut out, then I can start working my way backwards, and it looks like uh, these four columns, they're all kind of on one big piece of steel all the way across here, and of course that's held down by this black cross piece, goes all the way across here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, pull out that black bar first and then disconnect here and now here's another thing this is kind of neat a lot of these little covers there once you unhook them they just flip up so here and here that's just one bus bar that connects this side of the pack to that side of the pack so i can take that off uh, and then after i do i can just flip this back down and covers up the end there and then i should be able to pull out uh, these four stacks all at once and then um, when I've got that that will then let me uh, get at everything else and uh, get those apart and there's a little low voltage wire that goes uh, from the center of the battery out to either side that's on that black metal bar that's just really easy to disconnect pulls right out and then I'll be able to take that black bar out by taking out those bolts one on either side and looks like a couple in the middle there so this is a 16 millimeter. Okay, and before I can get that black bar out the middle, um, it's a little tight there between that and this bus bar. So I'm gonna take that bus bar out first, keeping in mind now that this is the actual battery terminals we're working with. So being careful not to touch anything else. No more bus bar. And that's a 10 millimeter nut on the battery terminals. And then down here in the middle for this black bar is a 13 millimeter. And then those two little wires on the bar, um, I unplugged and then popped them out from the little connection on there. That's a little snug. I might still have to uh, disconnect some other cables to get that out. I just undid a couple of uh, connections here that uh, zip tied uh, this wiring harness in the way so I can move it. It looks like I got the space I need now to get this bar out. I maybe got to <laughs> loosen this other one a bit too. Okay, just took a little fumbling around, but I did pull the center bar out from underneath there, which uh, loosens up the two side packs. At least there's nothing else on top of them anyway. Okay, so with that out and this bus not here anymore, uh, these four stacks are now still connected to each other, but electrically isolated from the rest of the pack. Uh, so there's still about 100 volts here, um, but I think that's it. I mean, that's the two main electrical connections. I've got over here, there's a connector for uh, battery management I have to disconnect. Then after that, I can remove the bolts to uh, lift these out, I think. 
So I took that out, and then up here, there was a bus bar bridging this, but basically uh, these four stacks are now disconnected from the rest of the pack. There's a little, um, right down here, got to disconnect that. And then after that, it looks like it's just going to be a matter of pulling out these mounting uh, nuts that go around the edges of this. And I know you can't see them from that angle, but I'm taking out the uh, 13 millimeter nuts that uh, hold the frame uh, of these cells in there. Okay, well I got myself into an interesting predicament here. Um, I wanted to take out um, that stack of uh, the, you know, four stacks of cells all at once because they're all connected to each other. Uh, but they're big and heavy and there's no good place to lift. So I hooked it up with a chain to the chain hoist. And yes, I know chain is electrically conductive, which is why I'm making sure it's away from all the terminals and uh, all the, the covers are on all the battery terminals here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is lift lift the back end and swing it around and should be able to get it out of the box that way. Okay, I got the uh, first section of cells out of the uh, Nissan Leaf battery pack. So now I'm just going to take out all the, uh, the nuts that physically hold uh, the left section here in, and then I'll be able to lift it out. So here we go. Okay, here we go, ready to lift. Okay, well, that's uh, two packs out. That just leaves the big one, <laughs> which is really big. Well, I've gotten uh, part of the battery pack apart here. Got this side out, got that side out. They're both pretty easy. Just uh, electrical connection on either end, a um, couple little sensors that just unplugged, and then uh, taking off all the bolts, there's a uh, threaded rod and uh, alignment pins here and those just needed all those uh, nuts taken off and then uh, lift straight up. Uh, this is the big end of the pack right here. Uh, it also has all the uh, wire harness stuff going to it including it looks like uh, this is the BMS board over here. A uh, whole bunch of wires going to it. Have to disconnect all those little wire harnesses and then uh, should be able to lift that out too. So now the main thing here is just removing all the uh, the physical bolts, first taking off all the brackets that hold the BMS wire harnesses, and then after that all the nuts that actually hold the brackets uh, down into the tray itself. Okay, I think it should lift now. After that I hooked up the, uh, the lifting strap and just start bringing it up and there are alignment pins and you do kind of have to watch out for the the BMS cable make sure that doesn't get snagged on there the other thing I was working on kind of a low table so I did have to uh, end up kind of lifting and rotating and the other thing is the weight is very off center in the battery at this point so you also have to be careful not to accidentally tip the entire thing over Uh, then after that I got the, uh, the, the shell of the battery case out of the way and just uh, lowered the, uh, the big section of 24 modules here back down onto the pallet. Uh, the first block of 12 I had set off to the side. 
So there you have it. That's uh, how you take apart a Nissan Leaf battery pack and get uh, all those big modules out of there. I had fun doing it and uh, look forward to putting these into my Vectrix electric motorcycle. And always, if you want to learn more, uh, swing by over at my blog at 300mpg.org. Subscribe, comment, see you there.